Hey everyone, it's Joe Lyons here from the Automator, and I got Jean Alon back again from a Quick Access Pop Up. So today we were we were going to talk about, um, you know, earlier we mentioned using the dynamic recent folders and in, in files and drives and access to it, and today we're going to talk a little about like we're going to dive a little deeper onto that and talk about where they come from, you know, where how it's being stored in QAP. Yeah, especially the 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 submenu you have under in the works. You know, the first item that, that I that is that appears in the default menu when you first run quick access pop up. This submenu can be overlooked at the beginning, but if you take uh, good attention to that, you'll see that it can be very uh, useful by presenting you or making it easily available the 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 content you work with currently or recently. So let me share my screen to show you this menu, so that's here, the in the works menu. So you have recent folders, recent files, frequent folders and frequent files. So here in recent folders, you see by the order they were used more, the most recently in what folder I worked using my computer. Same thing for the files here. And for frequent folders, we'll talk a little later about the database that is behind Quick Access Pop-Up that will collect some information confidentially to build, uh, to, to calculate what were the, the folders or the files that you use the most frequently in the last weeks or last months. You can decide on the, the, the periods, we'll see it also. So let's first see from where comes this information. It, there are two sources. The first one is Windows itself. In Windows, there's a dynamic folder or system folders in Windows that is called recent items. And I have a shortcut to open this folder right here. So this folder is populated automatically by Windows and by the application running on Windows. And each time you open a file, for example, in Word or in most software, Windows will register in what folder you the file was and what is the name of the path of this file. And it will be added in this folder here as a shortcut. So you could go there, but it's not very easy to work with this. It's, um, you know, it's all mixed up. And what Quick Access Pop-Up does, it, it, it will just process this information here to build something that is much more convenient in the form of these uh, different submenus. So you see, for example, the most recent folders that I opened was the recent folder itself because that's just where I was previously. So that's the first source. The second source is Quick Access Pop-Up itself. So if you open a folder using the Quick Access Pop-Up menu, or if you open a file with this menu, it will also be added at the top of these two submenus, recent folders and recent files. For the frequent folders, it's a little bit different because there it means that there's some calculation of what did you use in the last weeks or months in order to build this menu. And this folder here is the one that I opened the most frequently on this demo environment that I'm using to, to show you this video. As you can see here, you have nine items. The 10 item is not filled because it says the menu will improve as you use Quick Access Pop-Up. You will see that at the beginning because Quick Access Pop-Up has to learn what you are using. And because it is a new installation here, there's only nine items, but it could be 10 when I will open something new. You can also change the number of items in this menu if you would like to see 15 or 20 items there. So what we could do, Joe, now is to see the options that you can choose that will decide or control what is the content of these frequent uh, folders. In Quick Access Pop-Up in the customized window, if you open the options menu, you have the database item here. So it will open the database options. The first option you have is to enable or simply disable the Quick Access Pop-Up database. If you disable the database, you will not have the frequent folders or frequent files available. And the most recent item will not include those that you used inside Quick Access Pop-Up. So I suggest that you keep it open. Quick Access Pop-Up will check what is the content of the recent item folders that I showed you a minute ago. Uh, every 60 seconds, every minute by default. You can, you can change that if you wish and have it to, it to monitor the folder every 30 seconds or every five minutes if you prefer. 60 seconds is a good, uh, a good period, a good interval to do that. You could keep it that way. Now you also have the number of days that are taking into account when building the frequent menu items. By default, Quick Access Pop-Up will 
show you what you use the most frequently in the last 30 days. If you prefer to have something longer, it could be three months and it will show you what are the, the, top, uh, the top 10 of your last three months. Or if you prefer it to be short term, you could put seven days here and we, you will have the top 10 of your last week if you prefer. So that's something me, you can change. In let this. me interrupt you here for just yeah. a second to help one, understand this and two, help people and think about how they would use it. So first off, when when you change that, like right now, let's say you set it to seven instead of 30. Yeah. Would that trim out the other 23 days of data? The data will stay in the database. So you can change your mind okay. later and go uh, back uh, to 30. Yeah. So what it will do, it will just restart quick access pop-up because changing that requires to restart the application. So it will make the menu different because it will consider only the last the last week. So for people watching this, you know, I have projects that, that actually I work on a lot of things over months of time. I might put a longer time period in there versus if I'm working on things that switch a lot, I, I might want to condense that because I really don't want to go back that far in time, right? I want to yeah, keep yeah. it the last yeah. week or something. So that's up to you. And because I changed it, I, I have less items in my menu here because I didn't use it a lot in the last week. Okay. So that's why uh, you see here this, uh, this shorter uh, menu here. So going back in the options, uh, you can also decide what is the maximum size of the database. By default, it is three megs. So quick access pop-up collects the information from the recent items and from what you use in quick access pop-up. And when it gets bigger than three megs, it will strip the oldest content of the database. So that's something also you could change if you don't mind. It could be 10 megs if you don't mind about the space it takes. I don't think there is a performance issue here if you, unless if you put a very, very big number. Yeah, and uh, you could all, yeah. Just, just I'm saying three megs is like nothing. I, it, it actually stores in a SQL database that'll store a lot of information. Yeah. However, the database engine behind it, yeah, it's very yeah. robust. And in today's day and age, three megs is infinitesimally small, right? Like yeah. a picture from your it's phone. A sheet is of paper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah you might want to bump that up if if you're if things aren't in there that you would ex you would expect to be in there. Yeah. But three megs will hold easily 60 days of usage. So it's, if you increase it here, you should maybe increase that also. Good point. If you want to restart from scratch, erase everything that is in the database, you can always flush the database here. And here you can uh, just maybe for debugging or for understanding what is the content of the menu. And I'll put it back here to 30 days. And I will restart quick access pop-up in a moment. You will see here, just to explain, show the frequency in the menu and in the customized window. So it will show you after each item, how many times they appear in the database, okay? Just for your information. So I'll restart quick access pop-up. And during the restart, I will just open the database to show you for those that are a little more curious and technical and are comfortable with SQL database. The engine behind this database is called SQLite. And there are various uh, software that allows you to see the content of this database. And the one I install on this computer is DB Browser for SQLite. And it will open the database. And if you click on the Browse Data here, you will see all documents and folders that has been opened using quick access pop-up or that has been detected in the recent items folder of Windows. So you can, and you can create your own queries if you wish to inspect this uh, database. So just to finish that, we will review now the menu having these frequency numbers. So you have three here, one, one. So, and, and it's a very recent environment that I'm using here. So numbers will get, of course, bigger in the real environment. And here under frequent folders, you see nine, six, five, the number of time this folder appears in the database, same thing for the files. So, and of course, anytime I didn't mention that, it's uh, maybe obvious, but anytime you can select this item here to open the folder or select the item here to open the file that has been, that appeared in your frequent files submenu. I'm a little confused here. Just, I want to confirm something. That number there, is that number representing, let's say I was just 
I wasn't using QAP, but I accessed the same folder a dozen times. Is that going to pick it up or that number represents how many times in QAP I, I referenced the thing? Both. How many times it appears from your Windows usage or from your quick access pop-up usage? Okay. So for those that we off camera talked a little about, I think the vast majority of people, we do so many things over and over and over and we don't realize it. This is a great way to go in after just use the tool for a while and then come in here and look at those scores, right? Yeah. And say, hey, you know what? And anything over like, let's say a 10, maybe I want a hotkey assigned to that folder, right? Because I yeah. use it so much. And, yes. And as a bonus, because we didn't plan to show it now, but I think it's good to show it with what you just said. The way, yep. If you use the add multiple favorites uh -huh. um, command here, you can see here you can add multiple favorites coming from your frequent folders oh, interesting. and it will show you here all the these items that are in oh. your frequent uh, folders menu that are not necessarily in your menu okay they appear only in the dynamic menu and here you could select that you want to add these items to your main menu or to any other sub menu that you have and they will be now available in the menu itself not necessarily if i show it to you i show it using the preview button here so you see these items are now available where you want and with shortcuts with up strings if you would like uh, in addition to being available actually in the frequent right. folder here yeah but this way they're sticky correct right yeah, they yeah, go, yeah. yeah cool that's very cool so jean I'm thinking there are some probably folders and files that people, they, they really rather not have them included in their recent, you know, listing of stuff. Is there a way to exclude things? So they're not yeah, tracked? You can, you can here in the options, select menu exclusions. So what it will do, it will allow you to include here extensions of the files that you don't want to have in your, uh, in, in, uh, it will allow you to include here the path of, the folders that you would like to exclude from the recent uh, or uh, frequent menus. For example, if you don't want to see your MP3 files in this menu, because it's not something you, it's something that would play automatically in the background and you don't need right. necessarily to have this in your menu, you can exc clutter. exclude yeah. it here. If you would like to exclude your temporary folder, for example, C backslash temp, this folder would not be scanned in the database or will not be presented in the submenu, recent and frequent submenus. Another option may be that uh, I just mentioned earlier that you could change here in the menu appearance. Here is frequent items and recent items menu, the number of items in the menu that you can have in these uh, menu. And also if sometimes you have very long path in these menus, if you have network path with our uh, infinite, you can here say that you only want to see the three last uh, subfolders of the path, not the full, full path, oh, but only the end of it. It will make your menu uh, narrower than what it would be if you would include the full path uh, that you would have by default. Awesome. So was that it? Yeah. Awesome, man. This is this is really, really fascinating. Um, again, QAP, I, I love it because basically you, you've designed a tool that allows me to not have to program because that's what I would do all this stuff in AutoHotKey, but it takes a lot, not a lot of time, but it takes time to build these GUIs and do all the stuff and do the checking. So this is really cool. It's built into it. Thank you so much. Good. Thank you, Joe that tutorial on quick access pop-up. From time to time, we have discounts here at The Automator. It just depends on when you watch this video. So if you go to this above link here, The Automator slash QAP discount, um, you can see if there's a discount available. If not, it's still a very reasonably priced program. Go ahead and go down to shop.quickaccesspopup.com and see what the pricing is. It's a great, great tool. I highly recommend it. Cheers.